Hi everyone, today we're going to have a look at repairing some boards. I've just had a batch come in on the uh, two for one, which is send in two and we'll uh, repair one and send it back. Uh, I've got my trusty pick tester, which I'm going to do a project on this. This is actually uh, my project that I've done out of uh, an Arduino Mega, which uh, is actually a bit more useful when it's in the iron because it allows me to also check the thermistor in circuit which uh, anyone has ever repaired GHDs knows that to get the proper reading you have to actually desolder the thermistor to uh, test it but this will do it in circuit it also checks the LED operation and the pick processor operation so uh, in one test this this little box can rule out 80% of the faults that you'll uh, get on a board I'm just gonna fire it up and just flick through these eight boards just to see what we've got uh, this one actually says dead Okay, he's dead, so that's probably a processor change to start off with. What's this one say? Crackles. Okay, and the crackling ones will normally be uh, R8 or R11, so uh, hopefully this would fire. And get the clip on. Okay, that hasn't fired either. So I think I might have a duff pick as well. No heat bleeps. Okay. Okay, it has bleeped. But it hasn't done anything else because I haven't got a thermistor attached. It should have actually gone into a foul safe mode uh, of uh, like constantly bleeping, so I would suspect it's another processor fault. Uh, that's a very simple fault to repair that one, so I'll keep that to one side. These just say dead. Little crack. Yeah, they're pretty dead. This one says dead. Okay, I think most of these here, it looks like the process is dead. That's pretty dead. Okay. Right, now from this box, because I'm still keeping a good v, a VCC voltage, I can see the process is dead uh, on that one. Right. Oops, totally missed. <coughs> uh, again, we're still over 4 volts on the VCC and it's not fired. So those two processes are dead. <coughs> Processor dead. It looks like we're going to be changing a lot of processors. Okay, still good VCC. Uh, if I had a low VCC, it would suggest there was something uh, actually pulling that down the supply pins, preventing the pick from firing. But I've got a good VCC, uh, so that's good. Uh, this voltage here is just the thermistor uh, voltage and the calculated ohms, we haven't got a thermistor connected so these two figures are going to be reading junk really just listening for the uh, processor to fire okay. good VCC
that did try. Get it the right way, helps. Okay. Uh, pretty much every one of these needs a processor. Where's that crackling one? Like I said before, crackling is normally a sign of R8 or R11. We've got an R11 which is precariously stuck on the board. Forty-seven ohms. Fifty ohms. Let's go from so that should be about a hundred, yeah. Okay. Mm, Crackle is only to it's an interesting one. Have to look a bit more into that one. Right, I'm gonna pause the video and let's have a look at Fours, fours with square buzzer. Square buzzers go there. I only make one type of chip for the things. For the square buzzer. Right. It's a square buzzer and a normal one. So I need to cut your umbilical cord. Come off. So that's. Five board, that's a square bus all right, things. It's a five. <coughs> that's five. Right, I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna program some chips. Uh, actually what I'll do is uh, I'll do these two. So I'll just program up two times four and we'll get some chips in. Hi and welcome back. Right, I've got me my chips programmed up, got me two boards. Clear my space and get a PCB holder. These are actually available on eBay. Actually, they they look like this. To be honest, they're they're about three pound each, spring loaded. Uh, problem with these type of balls, you've got the capacitor in the way, so. Uh, I've actually butchered two to make one and I can clamp as you can see quite nicely either side yes it cost me about five pound to do that but it's five pound they're quite good they're not brilliant obviously uh, from one hung low land right Right, let's see if I can. Okay, you probably can't see much there, but what I'm going to do is hopefully move you down to here, and you can uh, watch it from there. Right. First things first is uh, I want to remove this horrid chip. Um, just one mil standard solder I'm using here, right? The suspect chip is now off. As usual, not prepared. Didn't have my solder wick out. Right, let's try and clean it up here. That's not too bad. Come back, bit of isopropanol. Works wonders. 
reminds me I need to buy some more. Uh, again, I buy buy off of eBay by the litre. Uh, it's about nine pound a liter in a, in a squirty bottle, and that absolutely lasts ages. Right, let's get the chippy on place. Stay, I put something sticky on this chip. Don't know what it is. Probably some heat sink compound or something. Actually, sticking to the tweezers, which doesn't help. All right. Line up, we just bit of 0.5, I think I use on this now. bad. I can try and move it a little. Normally it gets worse when you try and do this. I think that's pretty good. I shouldn't have any troubles with that. It's not the best iron to use for this job. Buy myself a decent chisel tip. <laughs> and it's also a bit more harder because I'm actually trying to do it from the screen. And keep my hands away from uh, your viewing, to be honest. Focus. Yeah. I'm not too happy about that. I'll put that in focus. Bloody multitasking. This one don't look probably is. Pan up. That's the suspected one. Now see if we can get any life. <coughs> That's a nice sound. Okay, that's a nice sound. That's actually the sound for sensor error, which is what we suspected. Well, I ain't going to bore you again. I am going to uh, quickly change this one, pause the video, and then we will go into testing these two. Back in a mo. Hi, and welcome back. Right. Got the first boarded, I'm only going to show one board. Uh, what I've got is the connector and a lead which is plugged into the main, so we are playing with 240 volts now, so very dodgy. Uh, we've got a, a little box here, this is just a variable resistor box. What I have got marked is 100k, which is nominal resistance. Uh, uh, room temperature, so obviously the starting point. Uh, I've gone up to 
it goes quite right but we can actually bring the resistance you know above 200 kilo ohms and that and we can test the uh, error the sensor error uh, here's null ohms which we should never get to and this mark here actually represents where I expect it to say it's at temperature so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, bring it around there switch it on it should show me sensor error which it does so that's good now let's come to normal room temperature so we should get a standard bleep okay let's just simulate the heat is heating up hopefully you can see there's the dot where we are right now we're starting to approach that point so we should get a bleep okay we're at temperature it's good uh, it's passed those checks which is good next thing we need to do is uh, hook it up to the LEDs and um, we can actually I will actually pause the video and find uh, a switch side PCB and connect so we can see those LEDs let's see you in a moment okay back again we've got an old it looks like a, a fake board or well, I think it's a third party repair board uh, only going to use the LED connect to the LED sorry wrong color cables I know but connected the LED to the LED output so let's try the LED action okay we're solid on let's bring up to temperature okay and we're flashing which is good Interest Lester. See at what point it it fails. Starting to get a double beep at around 200. <clears throat> Post to normal would be single, so it's on the very edges of oh, its the Mr. Error there. If we get much further, it's just going to constantly. There we go. On the pair. Oh, it actually does recover. And attacks. Okay, that was quite interesting that. Okay, many thanks for watching. Hope it was useful. I'm not going to show you me doing exactly the same to the other board because I'm sure you'll find that boring. Please subscribe, as I said before, gonna do a lot more, not just on GHDs. Uh, everything you know, we can get our hands on. We're gonna do some uh, Aldrinos, we're gonna rip apart some bits just to see how they tick. So, subscribe, keep watching.